students welcome back to the quants question of the day series this question is again from number systems that i'm doing and uh, in this series uh, of uh, of lessons uh, the first series of lessons on the quants question of the day i'm focusing only on uh, on uh, number systems questions so we'll do around 10 of these and then we'll move into the second series we'll move into the other chapters of arithmetic etc so let's look at this question that we that i have for you this is um, uh, i mean uh, mainly uh, i mean logically it's a simple question but uh, people get lost in in solving this question the question is find the 28383rd term of the series that series is essentially 1 2 3 so you're writing from 1 to 9 and then you're writing the two digit numbers so the assumption is that from 10 to 99 you'll write that and then you'll write the three digit numbers from 100 to 999 and so on and then continue with the four digit numbers of 1000 etc 1000 onwards and that's how the series will go 100 to 999 and then 1000 onwards that's that's where the series will go from here so <clears throat> we are looking at solving this question and they asked us for the 28383rd term so let's say uh, uh, before i uh, do this problem for the 28383rd uh, term before we do that for this let's uh, say i want to find the 3000th term it's always sometimes when when uh, questions are tedious with respect to the numbers to the numerical part of it it's always good to make the you make your logic on a shorter value on a smaller value and then expand that logic to the given question so let's say i'm solving this for the 3000 term so what i'll do for the 3000 term the logic of this question is essentially built around the fact when you write the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you have essentially nine single digit numbers uh, every number will contain one digit so this will create nine digits for us to ye to 9 tak ho gaya now when we move on from 10 and uh, you move from 10 11 12 up to 99 so from 10 to 99 there are 90 two digit numbers you need to remember that this is something you should know that there are nine two single digit numbers there are 90 two digit numbers there are 900 three digit numbers and so on so 90 two digit numbers will entail 180 digits written with this nine digits here with this nine digits here and these 180 digits there uh, when you go ahead in the series and write the number 99 in the series you would have written a total of 189 terms you would have written a total of 189 terms by now so then you obviously move from 99 the series moves to 100 onwards so from 100 you are going to the numbers all the way to 999 and this is 900 numbers that logic just continues nine single digit numbers 92 digit numbers 903 digit numbers 9004 digit numbers and so on so this is 900 numbers every number has three digits so this is a total of 2700 digits when i go from 100 to 999 when i write this whole series this whole series to that series i'll have 2700 more terms in the series which means at this point i will reach 189 plus 2700 which is 2889 terms i'll reach to 2889 terms and that's where now when i when I, we are solving this question uh, i said that we'll solve this question first for the 3000 term then we'll go for the original term so so how do you find the 3000 term now so when i want to find the 3000 term here let's see what i'll do now from this point from 2889 my distance to 3000 is 111 i can see that that will be the addition from from uh, 2889 to 3000 so to reach 3000 i need 111 more terms so i want to find the 111 term of the series 1000 1001 1002 now we are in four digit numbers so every digit will have four uh, every number will have four digits and since we want to reach the 111th digit of this series we can visualize that if i write 27 numbers if i write 27 numbers because every digit has four terms uh, every number has four digits so 27 numbers will will have 108 digits so the 27th number of this series 1000 1001 1002 etc will go to 1026 
So, so these are 27 numbers that I'm going to have. And at this point, I would have written 108 digits in this series. And then, because I want to go to 111th digit in this series, please remember all that is uh, past now. We are just looking at the 111th number of this series because if I add 111 to 2889, I'll get to 3000. So my last number will be 1000 to 1027, but I don't need to go all the way to 1027 because this is the third digit of the uh, relevant number. So the correct answer to the question, find the 3000th term of the series 1, 2, 3 would be 2. It's obviously not in the options because we have changed the question. So before we uh, go ahead to, to solve the question we are now trying to solve, uh, you, need to, you need to take your mind to two important components of this question. One is this till this point, of course, when you're solving for 2000, 28,000 number or whatever, 28,383 number, you are still on the same on the same logic. The logic will only differ in the last, that last part. Because even if you're looking at uh, the 28,000th the original question was 28,383rd term. So for that, you will have to approximately add around 20,000 terms more. And when you look at this series of four digit numbers, there will be 9,000 four digit numbers. And each number will have four digits. So there'll be 36,000 digits in this. So you are sure of the fact that this digit will happen in the four digit numbers, not in the three digit numbers or not in the five digit numbers also. So it's not sure. So once you, once you realize you're sure, so the solution will be pretty much similar. The only thing is that numbers are larger. Mathematical logic behind the 27 and the third digit of this number. And the mathematical logic is 111 ko 4 se divide karo because every number is 4. So 27 is the quotient. 27 is the quotient and 3 is the remainder. So when you go to 28,383, from 2889, 28,383rd term, that was the original question. From 2889, as I always tell you, don't subtract. What is the difference? But for the difference, don't subtract. 111 will get you to 3000. 25,000 will get you to 28,000. And 383 more will get you to 28,383. So they always do your subtraction this way. I've talked about this. There's a course on, on the Arun Sharma Academy on calculations. Usme uh, bataya ki how why you should always do subtractions to additions. So I'm looking the value that I'm getting, the net value I'm getting is 25,494. So what is happening is this 111 is getting the sub changed to 25,494. So if that 111 is getting changed to 20, 27,494, 25,494, this 111 is also getting changed to 29,494. And now when I want to find out uh, how many terms I need to write of this and which digit of the next number, I have to basically go back to the calculation 25,494 divided by 4. And for this, I can see that my quotient is 6,373. Now, which means that in this series, I'll have to write 6,323. This is parallel to the 27 we got here. So just like we wrote 27 numbers consecutively there and then we looked at the 28th number in the third digit, we are going to write 6,373 numbers. So the question then becomes which is the 6,373 third number? So you need to understand for the third number we had from 1000 we had to do plus 2. For the 27 num number from 1000 we had to do plus 26. So for the 6,373rd number from 1000 we'll have to do plus 6372, yeah, one less. So 7372 is my 6,373rd number. And what is my remainder in this? The remainder here is 2. 25,494 divided by 4. The remainder is 2. So this 2, the remainder is 2. So this 2 will be the second, I mean, the answer would be the second digit of my next number. When I write my next number, 7373, this is the digit which will be defining the 25th, uh, 28,383rd term of the original series, right? So just look at the parallelism between doing it for 3,000 term and doing it for the, uh, doing it for the 25, 28,000. For the 3,000 term, after realizing that four digit numbers start at 2889, we realized that 111 terms 
more we need. So the parallelism in the other question was that for the 28,383rd term, after realizing that 2889 is where the three digit numbers end, I need 25,494 more terms, right? So how many four digit numbers will get completed? 27 here. How many four digit numbers will get completed? 6,373. What is the remainder? Three here and here it is two. So the target answer in this case is the third digit of the 28th number of the 28th four digit number. In this case, the target answer is the second digit of the 6374th number. So one last thing you have to do in this question, what is the 28th number? The 28th number is 27 numbers end at 1026. So 28th number is 1027. So the third digit of the 28th number was the answer. What is the 6373rd number? 7372 is the 6373rd uh, four-digit number. So the 6374th number will be 7373. And uh, in this case, since the remainder is two, we're looking at the second digit of the of this number, which is three. And hence the correct, correct answer to this question is going to be option A which is three. So I do hope you're enjoying uh, this course. Uh, that's all from this uh, question. I do hope you are enjoying this course. So we'll stop here and uh, I'll see you soon in the next lesson. Bye bye for now.